Oh my god, hi. Were you married? So I got this, I just panicked. I was like old man panicked. I don't know if you saw a look of panic come across my face. Like when old people lose their car keys or shit, right? So I just looked over, and then I saw the next song, and I can't, I don't know how many times I've been hit in the fucking head, man. But it's like, I just can't remember it. So I wrote the notes and I have them in my pocket. Yeah. But I looked over it and then I panicked because I forgot. I thought maybe I don't have them. And then, guess what? <laughs> just old man, panic. All right, you know what I mean? Like when you're punk rock, it's like, whatever. You get hit in the head a whole fucking bunch of times, right? So one day, so people like to drive me around because I don't drive. Like I drive, but I don't have a car. I gave my car away. I just, I, I just, whatever. I wander around a lot and ride the bus and fuck off. So anyway, so I'm in Long Beach and some dude comes up to me and goes, hey, can I take you home so I can talk to you about something? It's like, yeah, give me a ride, man. So he takes me home. I'm like, I live like 13, 14 miles away from where I was. And then my wife goes, I'm going to the market. And she heads out and she comes back in. She goes, where's the car? I go, what do you mean, where's the car? She goes, you drove off in the fucking car this morning. Where's the car? And I had driven the car to Long Beach and just set the keys down and just walked away and left the fucking car there. So anyway, none of you care. I share that. What? I rode the bus and went back down and got it. Nobody took it. Nobody. Who's going to take it? You know what I'm saying? No homeless turned it into a funk shack or anything like that. No family of raccoons were born in it. It's just uh, just sitting there in the parking lot exactly where I left it with the fucking keys right in the door. <laughs> All right, whatever. At least I can still go to the toilet on my ass. So I got that going for me. All right. Get it together, get it together. Yeah, come on! Yeah, man. together! Woo! No, it really fucked me up. I can't tell you how many times I forgot I was married. <laughs> Alright, lighten up, man. Lighten up a little bit. That's funny, three times, at least three times. But the nice thing is, I am friends with all my ex wives. So that's killer. I was at Thanksgiving with all three exes, their new boyfriends, and all their kids. We had Thanksgiving together, and I'd see them sitting in the corner going like this and pointing at me and laughing and shit. <laughs> but at least it was nice. All right, good fuckers. <laughs>
One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Jared, come on. Okay. All right, so we'll take this minute out to introduce you to Antonio this evening. <laughs> Okay, you want to, alright, this is, okay, fuck, whatever, we're just having nice visiting nights. You can have nice visiting nights tonight. So, the only reason that Antonio can afford to go with us is because Antonio's a mailman, right? So, but he's a manager, you're a manager of a mailman. So, and guess whose house Antonio used to deliver the mail at? Roach's house. So Antonio goes, yeah, I went by his house one day and I look in the window. It's like, wait a minute, what are you doing looking in the fucking window? He goes, and I saw this big TSOL poster, and he goes, I thought it looked really cool. He goes, then I looked at the mail, it said Mike Roach. Like, fucking killer. So Antonio used to deliver Mike's mail, and then when we needed a drummer, Antonio called Mike and said, hey, it's me, the mailman. Let me come play with you guys. And now here he is, playing with us. Now I think he just learned to count to six. Right, this is like a whole different, the Maya might have made the fucking calendar, bitch, but you gotta get with it on the timing here. Hey, because I got something I need to let you know. The Mayan made the calendar, but white boys out of a job made punk rock. So, so get with us on this, we gotta, we gotta match this. And that's not racist, so take it easy. It's just, it's just stating a fact. So just, I just want to make sure we get the count straight on this, all right? <coughs> what? Don't be salty. <laughs> it's like something my father would say. Come in, I'd be taking it up. All right, never mind. Let's just... All right, let's get the count. You got it? Let's see it. <laughs> So we only used the top two, and we tuned it to an open E, and just fucking banged on it and yelled, fuck, fuck, fuck! Over and over. Now that's like some kind of thrash metal tuning or something, who knows? So with that, all taken into consideration, that last track we just fucked up was like Mozart, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All right, Mr. Emery, if you will, please.
record timing, fucker. Yeah. Well, to be quite honest, Ron, it was still off. And I just wanted to throw that. That was perfect. A little bit off. It took some talent to suck. Yeah, it did something. All right, as we're continuing, as we're continuing through this record, See, as you see, the record got a little harder. This, this first one was easy. Then we get into this, it gets a little more difficult. I hope you guys are enjoying visiting with us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That's hey. good! Up it up, man! Where's the stage going? All right, I just coughed up what's left of that right lung. Yeah. Okay, you know that band from Exodus? You guys know Exodus? Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm sitting with fucking Rob from Exodus. We're in Florida, and I fucking almost passed out. And he's sitting next to me, and I cough, and then I just go like this, and I spit. This is when I was smoking four packs a day. And anyway, so I cough this thing up, and it lands on the ground. And he looks at me, and goes, "What the fuck is that, man?" And I, I push it with my shoe, and it looked like a fucking albino army man, like those plastic army men. It was like like a corner that had been in my lung for a while. It just came right out onto the ground. And I just handed him my smokes and said, fuck this, I'm fucking done. But then after a while, I'm smoking again. Anyway, never mind, doesn't matter. That's, that's called recidivism. Recidivism. The word you take home. All right. So when your Uncle Jim comes out of prison again, okay, it's a Don't go back, buddy. Don't go back. Yeah, Roach knows what I'm talking about. All right, anyway, we'll try to stop that. All right, here we go. A little piece of round for you. 